Today on Ichimi, let's take a look at Microsoft's latest releases, Samsung's latest One UI 2 update, the awkward child in the Realme 5 series, as well as what Samsung had announced for the upcoming year. And also let me know in the comments below what kind of good deals you guys get from the 1212 sale yesterday. And now let's get into it. Are you a Microsoft fan? If you are, it's time to buy the latest Surface Laptop 3 and the Surface Pro 7 because they are now available in Malaysia. The Surface Pro 7 has a starting price of 5,499 ringgit, while the 13.5-inch Surface Laptop 3 starts at 4,499 ringgit. And if you need a bigger screen, the 15-inch Laptop 3 is priced at 6,799 ringgit. Besides the screen size, they both run on different processors as well. The 13.5-inch runs on a 10th Gen Intel Core processor, while the larger variant is powered by an AMD processor. And if you're wondering, the Surface 7 is also powered by a 10th Gen Intel Core processor. Samsung's new One UI 2 with Android 10 is now available on the Samsung Galaxy S10 series in Malaysia. Apart from having the latest version of Android, the update also brings a refreshed interface with a couple of new features. It also comes with the latest security patch dated 1st of December 2019. Some of the major changes include an enhanced dark mode, refined app icons, cleaner layout and a new navigation gesture option. The update also reduces the size of pop-up notification to minimise distractions. The update is almost 2GB in size and if you haven't received any software update notification, you may download manually under settings then click on software update. Well, it is here, the Realme 5S, and this smartphone is supposed to sit right between the Realme 5 and the Realme 5 Pro. It is officially priced at 799 ringgit, and it comes with 4GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The first sale is happening on Shopee at 2pm on the 19th of December 2019. As a promo, they are bundling 5 phone cases and a pair of Realme Buds 2 for free. If you're wondering, this smartphone is actually a slight upgrade from the Realme 5. Instead of a 12MP main camera, the 5S has a more capable 48MP camera. Other than that, it is pretty much similar to the Realme 5. It has a 6.5-inch screen, a Snapdragon 655 processor, and also a really large 5000mAh battery. Samsung, on the other hand, has also reviewed their smartphones for 2020 and they are the Samsung Galaxy A51 and the A71. Both of these devices come with a punch hole display that sits right in the middle just like the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. But first, let's talk about the Galaxy A51. This smartphone has a slightly larger screen but they still retain the same processor from its predecessor. If we take a look at the back, it gets a similar prism design with a camera bump that has four cameras arranged in an L-shaped array. Moving on to the Galaxy A71. Well, this device here has a larger 6.7-inch Full HD Plus display and it runs on an unspecified octa-core processor which is more likely to be the Snapdragon 730. The rear also gets a quad camera setup with a difference of a higher resolution 64 megapixel main camera. Overall, I think it's only a minor update for the current Galaxy A series. But what do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for watching, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and also click on the notification bell icon to receive updates for more future videos. And remember to watch two of our videos right over here. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!